to be horror weekend the continues with malevolent which is an independent horror film that came out in 2005 i think it says and doesn't really have much of big names in this film to be honest uh i came across this when i figured out there was a trilogy uh so they do set up for a sequel although i hear the second one is actually a prequel uh I read up stuff. I don't know anything about the third one, so we'll get to that. But the um, story is that in 1989, that's two years after I was born. Um, geez. Um, uh, in 1989, a six-year-old named Martin, a six-year-old boy named Martin, is kidnapped by a psycho killer and forces him to watch him do his killings and then we cut to 1999 which is where this movie when this movie takes place and a group of bank robbers they rob a bank and they decide to hide out at a remote house in the middle of nowhere middle of the woods or whatever uh one of them uh kurt his car breaks down so he he kidnaps uh two others a woman and I think her name is Stephanie, Samantha, and her daughter Courtney takes him to the house and their hostages, where he comes across another psycho killer who takes his mask. A psycho killer who takes his mask. Now I I I think you're supposed to believe that this psycho killer is the one who kidnapped Martin. But it's plainly obvious this is gonna be Martin. Especially when it's revealed there's a mark on his face, it's Martin. You know, when they take the thing off, it's Martin killing. It's obvious. And one could assume, hey, you know, this is one of those, you know, instances where it's like, you know, the backstory you give for this character where he's kidnapped and forced to watch all this stuff, that could be a movie in its own. Well, apparently that's what the sequel is, but we'll get to that. Uh, the performances in this film are fine. It's nothing spectacular. It's probably not going to be that long of a review. I thought it was okay. It's it's an independent horror film. Sometimes those things can be hidden gems. This one, it's fine. It's a standard slasher. Takes place in a house in the middle of the woods. Um, you know, a bank. Uh, Kurt uh, splits half of the the money. He puts some of the money, leaves it in a car, which is Samantha's car. So when she leaves, she gets away. She gets away with some of the money. Uh, yeah, and this killer shows up. He kills Kurt, takes the mask, and so she, Samantha thinks that it's Kurt going around, I think, still. And then he kills the other two, three. One of them, there's four of them. Max gets killed in the bank robbery, so there's two others. And they end up dead. Samantha, of course, is the only one left with her daughter. It ends with the cops finding a journal that was supposedly written by the psycho killer. There was no psycho killer talking about Martin. That's when it's supposed to reveal that it's Martin, but you have a 16 year old boy. Supposed to be 16 anyway, because you think about a six year old, 10 years later, he's 16. So. <clears throat> yeah, so. Not much. I didn't notice too much gore. Uh, didn't really much swearing. Um, Weird, uh, Samantha is British, but everyone else speaks with American accents. Kind of weird. She could be Australian, I don't know. I have a hard time just, um, differentiating, but, you know, who knows. Um, eh, a bag-headed killer has been done before with Jason Voorhees, and then in the sound, in town is dread sundown. It's not too, you know, like, he's a bad guy to kill her, and, like, the girl wants to be Snow White, but she ends up being a wolf man. I don't know. The idea of bank robbers going to hide somewhere and not knowing that there's a threat, that's a good idea. I don't know how well it's executed here. It's okay. Um, the killer gets away, of course. Um, or we think that he doesn't, but then at the end, you have a, a message from the police, which, you know... Kind of connects to the house on Haunted Hill. 
a little bit because they're like, you know, the money, there's money that's gone missing and so they're asking her about it. So you think in that instance, when it comes to that movie, you know, hey, uh, you notice that some, like, is it their accounts would be frozen out of the dead? I'm just saying. That irks me, but here, they're still looking for the money. The cops are, so. And she lays down and goes to sleep with her daughter, and you see the uh, door creak open, so. Killer's coming after them. Is that the third one? Because I know the second one's a prequel. This was fine. I know nothing spectacular. It's nothing to write home, home about. I'm, I don't know what to say about this movie, okay? I don't know what to say about it. It's just fine. It's just fine. That's all. Uh, so, what... Uh, oh, uh, I'll give it a five. It's fine. Uh, so, what are your thoughts on my love? Let me know comments below. Make sure you like, share, and subscribe. I hope the next two are good. The second one has Alexandra Daddario, so I'm hoping that one's better. Although, it's a prequel, so my hopes aren't up to many people could survive. So... Who knows? But anyway, make sure to like, share, and subscribe. Thank you for watching. I've been Scotty, and I'll see you in the next one.